Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day and today we finally got an update on what's been going on with Halo Infinite. Um, a season 2 update, what's going to be in it and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get right into it. Today we're looking into the new update that just dropped and this update contains a lot of information about season 2 and pretty much what they've been doing so let's go ahead and get right into it so the way they break this down is by showing like what they prioritize just their priority order what they're doing and stuff like that so their first priority which they like to call priority zero is focusing on basically the team health uh, making sure that they get themselves into a sustainable development rhythm so that they can deliver great experiences to all of us while keeping a healthy work slash life balance so basically just not crunching the devs and you know stressing them out a ton and just you know making it flow well he also states here that priority zero means that we sometimes need to move slower so that we, we can move faster later and these last few months have been slower than we expected and we sincerely thank you for your patience as we stay true to the priorities above so now we're into priority one which is addressing critical issues and they basically make a hot list of like what they need to like fix and stuff and so the whole point of this is just yeah, fixing the game up, patching it, making sure it works, nothing breaks and stuff. You know, this includes them looking at the Spartan career system, which I think actually means a XP system, possibly. Um, I hope that's what it means, but it's a Spartan career system is what they're calling it. And some other examples that they give out here is, you know, the anti-cheat, you know, updating it and stuff. And of course, you know, fixing BTB matchmaking. They also say that they didn't realize this existed until they launched the game, you know, full scale or whatever. So he also states here that we are working on a public facing version of the hot list, similar t to what the studio did during the Master Chief Collection update. So that all of you will have a clear and constant window into the status of hot list issues as we work to address them. So that's really awesome to hear. So with that being said, let's move on to their second priority, which is number two, shipping season, season two, <laughs> priority number two, shipping season two. So season two will launch May 3rd as season one will end on May 2nd. And we actually get the official name for season two, which is quite interesting. It's called Lone Wolves. And so the theme of this season is going to be about like wolves, lone wolf Spartans. I was about to say wolf Spartans, but who knows? Maybe there could be a wolf Spartan. But um, yeah, it's supposed to be about like lone wolf Spartans or like hunters, trackers, kind of like those, um, you know, wilderness type type stuff. And as you can see here on the concept art, we can see like them with like blades and stuff because they're like trackers, you know, like hunters, stuff like that. And I think that's really cool. And I like this guy's armor. Um, it looks freaking amazing. Look at his feet. I like how he has like those bandaged up feet. I think that looks so freaking sweet. So I'm interested to see what they do with this uh, theme in terms of Spartan armor. From what I'm seeing here in this concept art, it looks pretty freaking cool. So yeah, they're fierce, rugged, and prefer to work alone, but they're still loyal to the Spartan pack. He also states here that we will actually learn more about the Spartans, and their names are listed right here, which is Spartan Sigrid Elk Lud. I don't know. I'm going to be butchering these so hard. And so that's the Spartan on the left, and then we got Spartan. I'm not even gonna try to say that. I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna absolutely mess it up, and I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to disrespect anyone. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the guy's name on the right. We're also gonna spend more time with them, um, with Commander Lorette, the one we see in the Academy, which is pretty cool. And it's interesting because they also mentioned that as you dive into Season Two story, a mix of cinematic story themed events battle pass items and more that embody the lone wolf's theme so we'll be seeing like a lot of that um so that's interesting story themed events i really want to see where that goes i hope that makes the events a lot more interesting and unique because the ones we had in season one were pretty lackluster in my opinion um you know they were okay but they were like borderline okay they were really nothing special in my opinion and so I hope these story themed events really bring like some sort of uniqueness to these events. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And of course, the cinematics are going to be awesome, just like season one, where we had that one cinematic. I mean, that was really cool. So we're going to be getting more of that. So that's going to be fun to see. So we also get a look at the new Fracture Armor Core for season two. So just like the Tenrai event, now we're getting a different one. Um, this one, I don't know what it's called. I don't think they say here, but um, here's a concept armor of it. Um, and it looks freaking sweet, man. It looks kind of like Doom. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like Doom styled. It looks a little like Doom Warhammer 
in my opinion. Um, it's like nice and bulky, gritty. Um, so it looks really interesting. I do like this one a lot better compared to the Tenrai. The Tenrai one's not bad, but I do I dig this one a lot a lot more. It looks pretty sweet. I look forward to that new armor core. So here we get more news about season two. So during season two, we will also be shipping playlist updates, balance changes, new modes and maps, specifically one arena map named Catalyst and one BTB map named Breaker. So we're getting two new maps. It seems like we might potentially be getting more because if we look back and kind of read between the lines a bit, it says, we will be bringing playlist updates, balance changes, new modes, and maps. But then they say specifically, let me highlight that real quick so you guys can see specifically. And they just name off two maps. So does that mean there's another map? Maybe there's possibly one more map or possibly even a few more maps. Um, maybe I'm stretching far. I don't know. I hope there's more than two maps because I feel like it is a, dis a little disappointing waiting this long and we're only getting two maps. Um, I think it really does suck. But moving along here, we also get new modes, which include Last Spartan Standing, a free-for-all elimination mode, which could be potentially like a small little BR mode or Infection. I'm, I'm thinking it's more Infection because it sounds a lot like Infection, Last Spartan Standing. Um, mm, sounds kind of like Infection, you know? I mean, the announcer even says that, I believe, in Infection when you're like the Last Spartan Standing. Or actually, it says like Last Man Standing. But it's basically kind of the same concept. So I'm interested to see what this is, because if it's just a FFA um, one life mode, then that's going to be kind of disappointing. And that might be what they're saying here, because it does say free for all elimination mode. But if you kind of look at the bigger picture, it could possibly hint towards infection or something else. Um, hopefully it's not just a free for all elimination mode where you only have one life. But uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting. We also got another new mode named land grab, which I'm assuming is going to be a BTB mode, plus the return of an updated all-time favorite mode, King of the Hill. That's awesome. King of the Hill will definitely be fun. I'd love to see King of the Hill in BTB though. I think that'd be even more fun because it'd be super chaotic in uh, BTB, but it's going to be an arena mode it seems like. Possibly maybe BTB as well. I don't know. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. So here we have a concept painting for the new BTB map, which is Breaker coming in season two and to me it kind of looks like sand trap um if you look at this like banished tower it kind of has that same structure of um those arc pillars or whatever you want to call them in a uh, sand trap it kind of reminds me of that it kind of reminds me of that i'm curious if it, it's some kind of sand trap reimagining who knows and not only that but of course the atmosphere looks kind of all like sandy and dusty so it's probably like a desert biome i don't know we'll, we'll find out once it comes out but definitely interesting i do want to know it is concept art so of course things are subject to change it probably won't look exactly like this but who knows and now we get a new concept art of the new arena map which is called catalyst and it looks like just another forerunner map um i'm not too excited about this one i really want them to kind of spice up the variety here um i want to see like a banished theme that uh, I want to see like a banished themed map that's just completely banished maybe like a banished midship you know something like that maybe i don't know it could be anything just have it be like completely banished i want to see a little more variety um because all we're getting is forerunner stuff and i mean some banished structures i don't know it's we don't really get much and so i don't know maybe the layout's really cool but the aesthetic is just not really my kind of thing um you know, I want some more unique maps, but we'll see how it goes. So they actually actually mentioned here that we will have a lot more to share about the season two maps, modes, customization op options, and narrative content in April as our marketing and promotional campaign kicks into high gear. So once again, they mentioned maps. So I don't know. I mean, it could just be referencing the two maps, but who knows? What if we're getting more than three modes or more than two maps? It really does make me question that. Maybe I'm being a little too optimistic, but I really hope we get more than those two maps. And so now we're on priority number three, which is work on campaign co-op, Forge, and season three. And to break it down, they basically just say that campaign uh, co-op is going to be delayed and that it won't be at the start of season two. But they are aiming to deliver the campaign network co-op later in season two and that they'll share a release date for that 
and split screen co-op as soon as they can so co-op campaign is definitely getting uh delayed kind of sucks but hopefully they do meet that mark and it does come out during season two because campaign co-op should have been there at launch but um yeah you know we'll see how that goes out um they also talk about the forge here so they say that they're making great progress on forge which is really great because that means forge might come out sooner who knows they also mentioned that they're already fighting forge to a small group of community creators and working closely with them so that way you know obviously we get like a good forge and it works and everything they also they're also planning on doing public flights later this year and they still have the goal of shipping forge with season three so forge is making great progress that's awesome you know we really need forge so i'm really looking forward to that and so he also talks about the hot list items that were in priority one just like you know fixing stuff and all that and you know adding like spartan progression and stuff like that and he basically just says here that you know they're gonna do it in more agile ways just like they did in update 1.1.1 which i assume is the um the mid-season update i think i don't know i could be wrong but um yeah those are gonna be a lot more agile the ones where they fix stuff so that's awesome and yeah he just finishes off with like a good note just saying that you know thank you for your patience know that we are listening learning we're working hard to deliver more halo infinite content and that we hope you love to play all right so now i want to give my thoughts on this whole update and personally i think it's pretty average um it does excite, excite me a little bit it's nice seeing that they're actually communicating for once um and they're not silent anymore and i hope it stays that way but there's not much to look forward to and considering it's been six years that they've worked on this game and we still didn't get much at launch and then another six months and we're only looking forward to two maps i think it's kind of disappointing um you know six months and that's kind of it um you know i'm glad we're getting some kind of communication and some kind of i guess you could call this somewhat of a roadmap i guess it's awesome but like i don't know man i feel like they've had so much time and we're getting like content at such a slow pace that uh, i don't know it's just pretty average i just hope from here on out um i hope from here on out it just stays this way where each season is three months apart instead of six months because that really hinders the game and so i don't know from here on out i hope it just gets better and i think it will but yeah that's about it let me know what you guys think i think it's okay i don't think it's too exciting but i don't think it's too bad either it's all right um but we definitely should get a little more in my opinion but you know it's just kind of how it is so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think um consider subscribing liking the video shows your support and i'll see you guys on the next one peace